Salamander, Sha Luo Man She Saramanda Saramanda, retitled Life Force, Raifu Fosu Raifu Fosu in North America and in the Japanese arcade re-release, in Europe known as Life Force, Salamander, is a scrolling shooter arcade game by Konami. Released in 1986 as a spin-off of Gradius, Salamander introduced a simplified power-up system, two-player cooperative gameplay and both horizontally and vertically scrolling stages. Some of these later became the norm for future Gradius games. Salamander was followed with a sequel in 1996 entitled Salamander 2. Gameplay The first player controls Vic Viper and the second player takes the reins of debuting spacecraft Lord British, which is sometimes referred to as Road British due to the ambiguity of Japanese to English romanization. The game features six stages which alter between horizontal and vertical scrolling. Players are allowed to continue from where they leave upon death instead of being returned to a predefined checkpoint as per Gradius tradition. There are no continues in Salamander's single-player mode, however, in the two-player mode, players are given two continues. The number of continues can be changed through dip switches. The player gains power-ups by picking up capsules left behind by certain enemies, as opposed to the selection bar used in other Gradius titles. However, the Japanese version of Life Force keeps the selection bar. Many of the power-ups can be combined. For example, an option fires a second or third salvo of missiles or ripple, plutonic lasers if these power-ups have been optioned. The ripple and laser, however, are mutually exclusive. The only power-up that can survive the ship's destruction are the options. Upon the ship's destruction, the options float in space for a brief time before disappearing. The new ship can grab and retain them if they get to them first. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Development. The arcade version of the game was released under its original title in Japan version J and Europe version D and as Life Force in North America. The Japanese and European versions are nearly identical, but the American version changes the game's plot by adding an opening text that establishes the game to be set inside a giant alien life form which is infected by a strain of bacteria. Stages that featured Starfield backgrounds had them changed with the web background from Stage 1 to maintain consistency with the organic setting of the plot. The power-ups are also given different names, with the Speed Up becoming Hyper Speed, the Missile becoming the Destruct Missile, the Ripple Laser becoming the Pulse Laser, and Force Field becoming the Shield. Voiceovers are added to the beginning of each stage, detailing the area of the alien's body which the player is currently inhabiting, i.e., enter stomach muscle zone, biomechanical brain attack, and so on. Konami later released an enhanced version of Salamander in Japan in 1987 bearing the American title of Life Force, which further fleshes out the organic motif. All of the backgrounds and mechanical enemies are completely redrawn and given organic appearances. The power-up system was also modified, with the Japanese life force using the same power-up gauge as the original Gradius. Some music tracks have been completely changed for this release and the power-up gauge is arranged differently for both players. Versions <laughs> 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 Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64 and ZX Spectrum Ocean Software on their Imagine label, released licensed versions of Salamander for computer systems by Spectrum, Commodore and Amstrad in 1988. Whilst the Spectrum and Amstrad versions were generally criticized, the Commodore 64 version was highly praised by the critics of the day, particularly ZZAP, 64. Despite missing two of the six stages, the simultaneous two-player mode and gameplay being much easier than its arcade counterpart, the Commodore port is generally considered to be one of the best arcade conversions on this system. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Family Computer, Nintendo Entertainment System. Salamander was ported to the Family Computer in Japan in 1987. 
Instead of being a direct port of Salamander, elements were taken from the original Salamander and the Japanese Life Force re-release, and some elements, such as levels and bosses, were removed to make way for new content. Most of the background graphics and enemy sprites from Salamander, however, are used in favor of those used in Life Force, though the Gradius-style power bar is used in place of the original instant pickup system. The same year, North America received a port as well for the Nintendo Entertainment System. The NES version is practically identical to its Famicom equivalent, other than not having the multiple endings, having two option power-ups instead of three, and being titled Life Force. The North America version was later re-released for the Virtual Console on February 16, 2009 for the Wii, on January 23, 2014 for the Nintendo 3DS and August 21, 2014 for the Wii U. The European version was entitled Life Force, Salamander on its cover and was released on November 22, 1989. The NES version makes use of the Konami code, which increases the number of lives from 3 to 30. The first two levels of Life Force were profiled in the second issue of Nintendo Power, issued in 1988. Several issues later the entire game was re-profiled. <laughs> MSX The MSX port of Salamander, Sha Luo Man She Saramanda is significantly different from the original and any other ports. New to this port is a graphical introduction that introduces human pilots for each ship, as well as names for each stage. The levels are notably longer than the arcade original, and the player is forced to start from a pre-defined checkpoint upon death of either pilot, instead of starting where he left off. After level 2, the player can choose the order of the next three stages. In addition, the player can collect E capsules by destroying certain enemies. Collecting 15 will permanently upgrade one of the available weapons on the power-up bar. Some weapons allow the player ships to merge, one player controlling movements and the second player controlling weapons. Instead of the Vic Viper and the Lord British Space Destroyer, the ships are known as the Sabel Tiger and the Thrasher, piloted by human characters named Iggy Rock and Zowie Scott. The story takes place in the year 6709 AD and has two different endings. The MSX version was re-released for the Wii's Virtual Console in Japan on January 12, 2010. They were also made available for the Project Egg on Windows Store on May 19, 2015. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> PC Engine. A version for the PC Engine was released on December 6, 1991. Changes include starting from a pre-defined checkpoint upon death in one-player mode, faster enemy animations, and music being somewhat improved from the arcade version. In Japan, the PC Engine version was re-released for the Wii's Virtual Console on September 11, 2007, for PlayStation Network in July 21, 2010 and for the Wii U's Virtual Console on October 22, 2014, and also for the Project Egg Con Windows Store on March 3, 2014. Topic. PlayStation and Sega Saturn A compilation titled Salamander Deluxe Pack Plus was released in Japan for the Sega Saturn on June 19, 1997, and for the PlayStation on July 6 of the same year. The compilation includes both, the Japanese version of Salamander and Life Force, as well as Salamander 2. Topic. Mobile phones. Salamander was released for mobile phones in 2003. Topic: <inaudible> PlayStation 4. Salamander, an arcade version was ported by PlayStation 4 on November 27, 2015 in Japan and later released worldwide in spring 2016. It was developed by Hamster Corporation. Topic. PlayStation Portable Another compilation of the Salamander series, titled Salamander Portable, was released for the PlayStation Portable on January 24, 2007 in Japan. The PSP compilation features all three games previously included in the Salamander Deluxe Pack Plus, as well as XX and the MSX version of Gradius II aka 
Nemesis 2, which is unrelated to the arcade game Gradius 2, Gopher's Ambition. iOS <inaudible> 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 On December 20, 2010, an application called PC Engine Game Box was published in the App Store which served as a portal to download classic PC Engine video games. Among the downloadable titles is the PC Engine version of Salamander for a fee. Anime <inaudible> 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 Salamander, Sha Luo Man She Saramanda is a 1988 OVA miniseries by Studio Piero, directed by Hisayuki Toriyumi. There were three episodes released on VHS and Laserdisc between February 25, 1988 and February 21, 1989. The series was licensed by a British company Western Connection. The series is not canon, however, as the MSX Gradius series states that the events with Gopher take place over a 200-year period following the crisis with Zelos and his Salamander Armada. In this miniseries, it is revealed that the Bacterians capture sentient life to create leaders for their space armada. They capture sentient life via a dark fog going through space that changes inorganic matter into organic matter the large brain-like final bosses in the games, and that they are a crystal-like life form in origin. Noriko Hidaka provided the voice of the protagonist Stephanie. In the anime, the Lord British Space Destroyer was named after one of the protagonists, Ike Lord British of Planet Lattice, thus making it Lord British's Space Destroyer. Releases Vol. 1, Salamander, Sha Luo Man She Saramanda based on Salamander Volume 2, Salamander, Meditating Paula, Sha Luo Man She Ming Shang no Peora Saramanda Meso no Peora based on Gradius Volume 3, Salamander, Gopher's Ambition, Sha Luo Man She Go Fa no Yuang Saramanda Go Fa no Yabo based on Gradius 2. <laughs> 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 <la